Welcome back. Well, it wasn't just Chris Hewn who was forced to step down from high office today. John Terry was stripped of his role as England football captain, pending the outcome of his trial on a charge of racial abuse. But the Football Association said that Terry would still be eligible for selection for the Euro 2012 squad, as Ros Upton reports. It may not be what he trained for, but John Terry's made a certain kind of history. The FA stripping him of his England captaincy for the second time in two years. The board has discussed the matter in detail and has collectively decided it is in the interest of all parties that John has responsibilities of captaincy removed at this time. The FA has been under mounting pressure to act since the Chelsea captain was charged with racially abusing Queen's Park Rangers defender Anton Ferdinand. John Terry says he'll fight tooth and nail to prove his innocence. On Wednesday, a court adjourned his trial until July. That's after Euro 2012. John Terry's lawyers weren't commenting today and the player kept a low profile as he left Chelsea's training ground. But his manager there says the FA's made a mistake. You have to ask them uh, uh, the foundations of their decision. Uh, from my opinion, is um, I don't agree with it. Uh, John will continue to be our, our captain and I have no further things to say. June's Euro Championships will be held in Poland and Ukraine, where campaigners report a prevalence of racism in football. To enter this context with a captain facing charges of racial abuse may have proved difficult for the team. One former England international says the FA has made the right decision. The harmony in the dressing room is the most important thing to protect and to go into a championship with the, uh, the dressing room absolutely in the right frame of mind. And so I think if there are any issues that are going to cloud that, uh, that harmony, then I think certain steps are going to be taken to uh, protect that. John Terry became England captain in 2006 and was first stripped of the title four years later after claims he'd had an affair with the former girlfriend of his teammate Wayne Bridge. The FA says Terry can still play for England. The next match is at Wembley against the Netherlands later this month. But there are reports he may quit international football. Fabio Capello will have to select a new captain. Rio Ferdinand tweeted today that he doesn't want the role. The bookie's favourite is Steven Gerrard. Cricket and England's batsmen have once again failed to capitalise on their bowling success as 16 wickets fell on day one of the third test against Pakistan. Stuart Broad and James Anderson tore through the Pakistan top order, dismissing them for just 99 in Dubai. But England fared little better with the bat, suffering a series of quick dismissals. The only positive was a Strauss-Peterson stand of 57. But Peterson's dismissal, judged LBW, triggered England's collapse. They ended the day 104 for six, just five runs ahead. Tonight's main news, Chris Hewn has resigned from the Cabinet after being told he'll be prosecuted for allegedly getting his former wife to say she was driving and take the penalty points when he broke the speed limit. He says he'll fight to prove his innocence. Don't forget, you can reach me direct on Twitter at ChrisGM. We're back tomorrow at 6.35. Until then, that's Channel 4 News. Have a very good evening and a great weekend. Good evening. Well, most of us are set to see some wintry weather over the next couple of days. At the moment, there's a weather warning out for snow and ice to affect central and eastern parts of the UK from Saturday into Sunday. Five to ten centimetres of snow could fall, even down at lower levels. There could be some problems in a few spots as the weekend goes on. Now, before then, for this evening and overnight, it's a fairly quiet story, just a few wintry showers for eastern parts of England. But for most of us overnight, it's dry with clear and starry skies. Different story, though, by dawn for western Scotland and Northern Ireland. Cloud and rain starts to move in here. So not as cold as recent nights for the far west of the UK, around 3 or 4 degrees for Northern Ireland, locally too for Belfast. But for the rest of us, a widespread frost, widely down to minus 5 or minus 6. And in rural spots locally, down to minus 9 or minus 10.
So a cold, frosty start to Saturday morning, the chance of a few icy patches as well. But after the morning sunshine, cloud and rain starts to move eastwards across the UK, redly turning to snow across the hills and mountains of Scotland, northwest England, Wales and southwest England, locally down to lower levels too, but drier further east for most of daylight hours. But once again, it will be a cold day, barely above freezing here, but milder for Northern Ireland, a temperature of 8 degrees. Now, the real concern is for later tomorrow into Sunday. This band of rain continues its journey eastwards across England, readily turning to snow, widely seeing 5 to 10 centimetres overnight into the early hours of Sunday. And even once the snow has cleared away, temperatures falling away to risk of ice on the roads, and it stays cold and damp into Sunday. More on the website, of course, at channel4.com forward slash weather. Have a good weekend. Take care. Goodbye.